Did I mention I love the soundtrack to this game? There's some rotten bananas here. <clears throat> Let's throw those out. Oh no, I don't want to open this door again. These uh, prompts are pretty vague. It doesn't really indicate like which one you need to choose in order to do certain things. Sean, 4.30 snack, 6 o'clock homework, 7 o'clock dinner, 8 o'clock bed. It's 7 o'clock, so maybe now he'll be hungry for dinner. I didn't make him do his homework because I was trying to be nice because uh, it's been like two years of game time, but in my mind he just lost a brother and that's horrible. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh yeah, I'm really hungry. Yeah, he's okay, really hungry right now. Fine. Is there something maybe in a, the kitchen cabinet for dinner? No, I'm going to go back to the fridge. He doesn't want anything that's in the cabinet anyway, unless it's like Kraft macaroni and cheese dinner, in which case, yum yum. There's pizza and there's roasted chicken. That pizza looks like it's been just like sitting out in the fridge. It might have like some freezer burn on it. So microwave food it is. Microwave food is healthy, right? It looks like it even has potatoes. Which kids don't like to eat, so they must be healthy. Oh, I see. Sean's 4.30 was a snack, so if I asked him about a snack instead of about dinner, I think he would have been hungry. He only nuked that for 20 seconds. I hope it's cooked. Excuse me. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. Alright, I'm going to see if I can sit down with Sean and talk to him over dinner. That's just the type of dad I am. I like to talk to my kids. No, I don't want to get up. I'm trying to see what my character is thinking, and my character isn't thinking anything. I don't see any dialogue options. There's something here. Oh, this is awesome. This is like uh, the same sequence of buttons as before. No, it's actually tougher, because he's doing a tougher trick. With like four oranges. I guess they're apples, actually. Oh no, he dropped them. Let's try it again. Come on, Sean. Watch your dad juggle while you eat. Now he's back to watching TV, so I probably missed my chance to show off my juggling to my son. Cheer him up a little. There's got to be something I can do to cheer him up. Okay, he just wants to watch TV. Is there anything back here? There's another room back here. There's another door that I can go out. That teddy bear looks like a balloon animal. It's like super low resolution. All the other graphics are great. All right, always good to get the clothes dried. I wonder how long ago they were washed though. They're probably all wrinkly by now, all moldy. Turn some lights on, get some light in this place.
I'm still not going to make him do his homework. He still has his TP. He still has his box of containers, box of cupboards, cubby box. Those are awesome lights. Is that the only light he has in the room though? Doesn't he have like a desk light to do his homework? I guess that's his desk. Oh my god. Can you see that? In case you can't see that, um, Sean has been drawing pictures of like his mom and dad like standing in the street in awe, aghast, and like his brother getting hit by a car. I wish as I was looking out this window, Sean would go out and pick up that basketball and start like doing slam dunks and stuff. That would cheer me up. What does that prompt do? Close the door? No, that just turns the light back off, probably. This is my bedroom, I guess. It's awesome what you see in the mirror as he opens uh, the wardrobe. It's all just like completely realistic. This game has beautiful graphics, beautiful lighting, beautiful everything. I really can't even begin to describe how beautiful this game is. I may have never seen a game as beautiful as this, and it's 2015, and uh, I have a PS4. This game just really takes the cake. It may not be like detail, a lot of it is just style. They put a lot of effort into like modeling all, everything, like all of the objects in these rooms and making everything look unique and colorful. He's thinking nothing. I'm pressing the thoughts. Oh yeah, there is. All right, he's happy watching TV. He's happy watching TV. Might as well leave him there for a bit. Oh, he's thinking about whether to send Sean to bed. Before, I was determining he was thinking nothing, but I was actually pressing the wrong button because uh, this is the camera change button and this is the button for his thoughts. I don't want to go to bed. I want uh, this night to last forever. This is my workroom. I've got my easel set up here. And my painting is all dusty. I guess I was working on this when uh, Jason died and uh, I haven't felt like doing much work lately. He's not going to do any work now. He's just picking up a remote control. Hey, stop messing around or they'll be able to film you. What do you want me to do? Well, you know? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Jason, tell me what you want to be when you grow up. Uh, I don't know. Fireman or an astronaut. Oh, wait, wait. I know. Oh, <laughs> wait. He wants to be a dinosaur hunter. Hey Sean, remember that year your older brother wanted to be a dinosaur hunter all year? He made us call him Turok. The scene is so sad. Alright, slowly get up. I'm worried about Sean. I don't hear the TV. What are you watching now? Dad, why'd you turn it off? It was oh, my favorite show. Did I didn't mean to do that. Dad? Maybe we can talk now. Come on, 
Come, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? It's 9.30. Now, that's not very reasonable, is it? You have You're to supposed to be in bed at 8. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come. Now I'll turn off the TV. Save some electricity. Is there another light to turn on? I'm still finding lights. Now Ethan's looking to the left like he sees something. Oh, that's just him standing in a stupor because I haven't directed him. You really can't tell the difference between the cutscenes sometimes and the rest of the game. It almost sounds like the door opened and closed. I think that was just uh, Sean upstairs. I don't think that uh, someone just came in the back door. I am concerned about whoever is writing me creepy messages. The newspaper headline mentioned a serial killer. Oh, don't go down the stairs, go back up. Is Sean brushing his teeth in the bathroom? No, oh, he's already done. There he is. Oh, don't get up. Tuck him in. He seems to have just like fallen asleep with no covers. He's so tired. I didn't send him to bed until an hour and a half late. I love you, son. Look both ways before crossing the street, or you'll break your daddy's heart. Let's turn off his light, so he can sleep better. He doesn't even bother turning off his own light before going to bed. He leaves the door a crack open so he doesn't wake Sean up. And now he has an epileptic seizure and dies. Game over. I hope you enjoyed it. Please buy the sequel, com sequel coming soon, Heavy Rain 2. Is this later on? Or is this the same night? It's an origami dog. I can't read this street sign. He's walking by the cleaning service though and there's some police tape up. It looks like a crime scene. Carnaby Corner North. The sign looked important. It was the only thing with text on it a moment ago. Hello. I don't know what just happened in that last part. It looked like it was happening on an entirely different day, but maybe it was the same night. Ethan was just like walking on a street corner in the rain, and then he opened his hand and unfolded it, and there was like an origami figure in it. And I earned a trophy that says interactive drama. Tuesday at 0006 a.m. So that's 1206 a.m. And now I'm playing as a fat man in a yellow overcoat. I have an awesome car. 
and a really cheesy pie. There's a fast food joint across the street, but um, I'm not allowed to walk. I'm trying to walk right now. Can I think? I have no thoughts. I just have to press up to open the door. Now I have thoughts. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. He's looking for something. Man, the desk gotta be able to help. Lori Winton. Ring me bells. No, can't say it does. Origami killer, seven victims and still no lead. Is the newspaper headline. Oh, that Lori Winton. It doesn't Third take much of a bribe to get him to talk. Third floor, last door on the left. He doesn't have any time to sit on the sofa. He's all business today. He looks like a man on a mission. That was a really short, really dramatic cutscene. Really cinematic angle. That's not the right door. It's not the right door. Let's look at the clock. It's still 12.06. Time isn't going by super fast like it was in the last scene. Lord Winter. Sorry, I'm with your clients by appointment. Is she a massage therapist? Wait. <laughs> She's a hunter. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Why by me? I take it this guy is not actually coming to see her to have sex. It would just be like outside of the tone of this narrative so far. Exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Put my money on the table. His business card when he opened his wallet read Scott Shelby. She's got Harvest Moon. Poster. I don't know if that's the video you game. You take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should know. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? Her My apartment looks Scott awesome. Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Persist. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lord. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do. My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! So there's a serial killer going around called the Origami Killer. Compassionate. I understand, Lord. I know what you know. And this guy is like oh, yeah. a private detective you know who's trying to like uh, find out who it is. On the wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe really you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. On the wasteland. Buy or trick. Let's trick. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. That's not very tricky. Oh, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? She's got dolls and just like awesome bottles and awesome posters and like a really cool lamp over the dining table. I would totally like hang with this prostitute. I would just like, you know, sit and play cards with her and light up. Yes. I live with you. Yes. Of course I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop you. Alright, so her name is Lauren and her son's name was Johnny and he was killed by this origami killer. Enough to get us out of here. And Ethan may be the origami killer because he's making origami figures after blacking out. Did you suspect out. anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Oh, I can walk around while Shit, listening I to this. I first. Can I check the bathroom out? But it didn't seem to make any sense. No, I can't go in there. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that. Do I have thoughts, Johnny? Nope. 
Just dialogue. And all those other kids. She's so horrified by what happens to her son that she doesn't think any of her clients could have done it. Want one? No thanks, I quit. I'm trying to open the window. Or look out. It doesn't show me what he's seeing, it just shows me him looking out the window. I better get moving. Ask some more questions. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me up. You know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I had seen him since. I didn't okay. get anything. Did I not ask the right questions? I have no lead. It's not Johnny's father. That would be too local because there have been like seven victims and Johnny was just one of them. So it wouldn't be like someone personally related to like one of the more recent victims. She's not talking to me anymore. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. Okay, no, no, no. he's thinking I'll leave my car in the kitchen table. He better do it. So she can call him if she finds out any information. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Can I take my money back? It would be funny. Nope. Can I look in your bathroom? I want to use your bathroom before I leave. Nope. I didn't learn squat. Well, with Yeah, that's my sentiments exactly. I gotta get out of here. I can't see where I'm walking. That's the clothing rack. That's the door. Alright, goodbye, Lauren. It was nice.